So, um, in today's video, we're going to be uh, playing against one of my friends, Ruth. Uh, we've decided to play three randomized decks that we think might feature at EUIC, might have like an influence, could be pretty good to play, um, but maybe not necessarily like top, top, top. We've both said we're not playing Charizard, um, so we're not going to bore you with Charizard. Uh, right, but I thought I'd have a bit of a theme to mind. So, um, all the decks I'm going to play today have an elephant based Pokemon in. So, uh, the first deck that I'm going to play today. Um, is going to be my uh, Great Tusk Mill deck. Um, only thing that I've really done differently to this deck since you last seen me play on the stream was I've added two Jet Energies and I've gone for three Power Pad and three Super Rod. Makes the deck a lot more consistent. Uh, I really like it, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, so we're going to play Great Tusk. That's going to be my first deck I play. Um, then we're going to go for um, Cooper Raja EX, the um, Invincible Elephant, like I'm calling it. Oh. Went a bit too fast there, didn't we? Yeah, so look, mate, I mean, come on, guys. 300 HP, hits for 260. We put a cape on this as 400 HP. We put a rigid band on it, it takes 30 less damage. We have a metal lab, it takes another 30 less damage. And um, yeah, obviously, we can also heal damage on it with our Radiant of Choice, uh, which is Radiant uh, Serena. Yeah, so um, don't know how it's going to play. I don't know mechanics wise if it's going to work i had a look at azul's list and then uh, for this that he did the, the other week and then i've tweaked it a bit and then for my final deck um yeah i've gone for engine box it's got, we've got one great tusk it's got another for a minute counts yeah so um playing with elephants um yeah big dumbo fan all right let's get into it see what happens all right guys so kicking off uh then yeah pokey roof let's go all right so like I say, testing decks out for UIC, um, just something different. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I wonder what Ruth's cooked for us. She wouldn't tell me. So yeah, going in with Mill for us, Great Tusk Mill. Ah, Tails. Let's see if she lets us go second. Remember, with Mill guys, you want to go second. You want to go second with Mill, okay? Let's see how this plans out. Ruth's going first, okay? Right. So that means to me, this isn't Dialga. So yeah, let's have a go. We have everything in our hand, guys, for the turn one attack. Sick. Absolutely sick, we got this. Oh, let's move this up to here. Oh, she's gone at me with Chen Power, is she? Oh, the cheek. She told me she wasn't gonna play Chen Pao. She lied. Coming at me with my own deck. I bet I bet you any money, guys, this is my build as well. This won't have an iron hands in it. I'm gonna mill all of your rare candies. Let's go. Personally, for me as well, I do think when Grey Tusk plays any deck that has to rely on rare candies. Or even this. If this is my back Mac uh, Scalibur Chen Pao list, um knowing roof it might be. Got to just mill the backs. Mill the boxes. Just play three rare candies. And we're done. And then obviously, yeah, she'll have the acceleration for Palkia. Yeah, there's Greninja. There's the fridge. Yeah. Watch her get a buddy buddy puffing off this. Let's see. Guys, it's like a read and I should play Future Box because I can see into the future. Yeah, this is my build. She's got the two energy one, the one retreat. Yeah, the draw. The draw one. All right, let's go. My turn. All right, heavy ball first. Thank you very much. Two great tusks. First one. A supporter, right? What do we want? That and that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, yeah, I have got rid of a pal pad and a super rod, but this is my uh, 2.0 list. I actually play three super rods and three pal pads. Okay, so I don't mind giving Ruth the arts on because she's already set up. Um, let's get another great task. 
And then we want to see Sada. There we go. Right. Hopefully we can get Greninja next turn. And yep. Let's get some rare candies. Oh, there's one. Two to go. She's probably got one in hand. She's probably having Nerida as well. Not bad, not bad at all. Anyone wants to know where we get the uh, music from for the uh, background music because it's license free? Uh, I'll post that in the description as well with the deck lists. Absolute banging tunes. But it is better than TCG Live's music, which is just dreadful and sound effects. Sam's daft though. I might. I'm gonna move my camera, guys, because we're playing Mill, and I've covered up how many cards she's got left in deck. There we go. That's better. Thirty-two. Well, we know Greninja isn't in the prizes, so if we can draw into Greninja, well, we'll Artisan for another great toss. I mean, there's a the rare candy. Someone did mention to me the other day, would it be worth putting a Devo into Greatos Mill? I don't know. I haven't made my mind up on that. This little dude's getting knocked out. Poor thing. I'm going to play Sardar anyway, like I say, so... We're good. We can build four still. We are getting knocked out here though. Um, two rare candies though, guys. So that's quite interesting. There is a possibility in this game we might attack. Because everyone forgets we hit for 160. We can knock out back Scalibur if we counter capture. Oh, that's just naughty. That is just naughty. Touch here. Nice. Boost the capsule. Jet energy. Counter catcher that backs up. Yeah, so 160, guys. So we can hit that if we play our cards right. Um. Yep, mm, nil. So the reason why, I mean, people are going to think, why did you come to capture that on that turn? There's the yellow grey candy gone, so she's playing four. Okay, so it's not my list. So I wouldn't be surprised if she does have the iron hands then, if that's the case. Now, um, I come to capture this up because she needs to find two energy to retreat this for a start. And then she, wait, there's the two energy, but then she's going to have to get rid of it, draw into more cards. Yeah, she is playing my variant. It's got the Palkia. Um, I just saw a lightning energy. Did I see a lightning energy? I did. She's playing both. I wonder if she's dropped the Kyogre for the Iron Hands. I wonder. So that's the retreat. Super energy retrieval. I think she made a little bit of a mistake there. What I would have done is I would have retreated the Baxcalibur first. Use Chemp out and then got my energy back, but that's fine. It's all good in the hood. We've got another mill next turn anyway. We'll art on for our fourth grey tusk and then hopefully we we'll find a supporter. Let's see. Let's see how we go. Last one. We can always... Um, I mean, I'm afraid that she'll gust this with Prime Catcher. The deck wants us to win, guys. The deck wants us to win. So... Active. Um, 
We can get Greninja now. Always nice. I would love. Right, come on. Hero Cape. Let me discard that. Super Rod. Leave that in case we get Sada. In area next turn. That's. Oh. It was near the top. It was nearly there. Alright, cool. No worries. Mill off the top. Mill for four. Oh, and there's the prime catcher gone. And the iron hands. I wonder. She's must, she must have dropped the Kyogre in order to play the Palkia in the iron hands. Like I said before, guys, I need to play one or the other. Oh, here we go. What are you going to mill away now, Ruth? I would not play Poker Stop against Mill. Oh, we'll see. 14 now. Down to 14. We have the double turbo in hand. So, it's not the end of the world if we don't get Sada or Explorer's Guidance in our next turn because we'll eerie remove two item cards. Hopefully, she's got superior energy. We'll just get rid of that. Um, and then Mill for one. And we've got Artzan in hand to get rid of the uh, Poke Stop. Which is fan tabby dozy. Down to 12 cards. Down to 12. She's got four prize cards left. She's got to accelerate. Free energy. Yeah, free energy on the champ owl. I feel quietly confident, guys. Because, like I say... Even if we don't get um, a Sardar or an Explorer's Guidance between an extra energy, obviously as well, between our next turn. Oh, she's going to try and Greninja us. She's going to Greninja us. <gasps> That's fine. It's all right. We're just going to eerie the superior energy retrieval that she's got in hand into the discard. And then I think that'll be it, guys. How many has she discarded? Two. Wouldn't it be a beautiful thing if Ruth only had or has both superiors in her hand right now? What do we think the chances are? Watch me pull a hero's cape now. <laughs> oh, well, what we can do is we'll switch cart. Switch cart. I mean, it is perfect maths anyway for it to do that, so. Artisan. How many energy have we got in the discard? So we've got two double turbo. Yeah, that's Greninja. Kind of paid off because now we've got full board again. Eerie. I told you she had one in hand. I knew it. And then let's mill the last one off the top of the deck. And there's the uh, there's the Irida to get the superior. I think she thinks she's got it. Down to ten. I think we've got her, guys. I think she's going to get a shock where we played a giant elephant deck. She had one in hand. She had one in hand. We're going to lose two great husks now. 
we'll lose um, both of them, which are on 60. I really hope we top deck something good. I mean, if she doesn't have any... Where's the barrels? Has she priced them? Oh, she don't want to draw anything. That's the thing. We're not losing both. Does she not have the... I don't think she's got the energy for it, that's why. I think maybe attach two, attach three here. Take the knockout, but then she's got no energy for next turn. That's very confusing. So... I would have passed and not took the knockout. But that's just me, because I'm going to push up one of these fully, full HP ones now. Come on. Cracked. Right. Double turbo. Turn. Mm. What's the odds we pulled a stone? Two hundred and forty. She needs four energy to knock that out. She's got eight in the discard. Three superior. I reckon she's got a superior prized. Yeah, let's get rid of the jet energy. And we're going to keep these in hand for next turn. Yeah, first time, pass. I know that ain't four energy. I know she ain't got any in the deck. one in the deck now she got four in hand though that's the thing don't have four can't have four should take a chunk out of it boss's orders yeah we're gonna lose the other one all right okay i think she's hunting for her last superior energy which would uh which would make a lot of sense but I mean, this thing's going to be invincible now. We're going to mill four off the top. Mill four off the top. I think we've got it, guys. I think we've got it. Big angry elephant. Uh, 
counter capture the back scalibur so she has to attach and retreat again just to be annoying no fourth top there's our superior gone ggs Ah, oh, we've got it guys that's it that's game You're gonna poke stop your last three cards. Nah. Might have another super rod, potentially. Let's have a look. I would say she's got another super rod. I play I normally play two. There's the super rod. Can she get this out of the active though? That's a thing. We've got two explorers guidance left. I don't know. It's six. It's all right, isn't it? Super Rod, Explorer's Guidance, Mill for four, and then Mill for one for game. Ah, she's squiff. There we go. Game one. Game one. All right, then, guys. Um, yeah, so game one to us. Pretty good. Uh, Mill against Chempal. Can't really complain. Uh, let's go ahead. So, obviously, we're playing, well, we're playing our big, angry, hefty elephant, um, Cooper Audrey X. No idea what we was going to play. So we had Chen Pao game one, though. Um, it would be nice to play this against Chen Pao, obviously hitting for weakness, but let's see what we've got. Well, she's going to know what we're playing straight away now because she's getting one extra card. All right. Yep. She'll know exactly what we're playing now. All right. That's pretty that's pretty solid for opening hand guys. We've got a TME vote, we just need to find a um We need to find an energy. We've got the ultra ball as well actually. Um Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Take one. Just play Dialga. We've had to go first. All right, let's um, launch ball for this. Now, obviously, if Ruth's playing Dialga, which I think she is, um, because I haven't spoke to her about this angry elephant yet, I think she Arvin's TM Evos, so I think we're safe with that. I think that's what she'll do turn, for, well, next turn. Well, her first turn, should we say. I think we're fine with that. I think we're all right. I think we're good. Guys, stay hydrated. Drink Vinto. Delicious. Gotta love a bit of Vinto. The only way she doesn't TM Evo this turn is she doesn't have Arvin or she doesn't have access to it. So I'm going to say these two, yeah, two. Oh, yeah, you'll also notice as well um, the Beldums that Ruth's playing. She's playing the um, Silver Tempest variant. Obviously, it's got the magnetic lift ability, which is probably better. Well, to be honest, guys, yeah, it is better than this, but. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I prefer the 70 HP ones. Save Lie is still a thing after all. So, oh, Beaver, join the party, buddy. How's it going? All right, I think we... I'm saying we Ultra Ball for... 
a big beefy. Um, and then I don't know for a fresh, fresh hand, yeah. Oh, actually. Touches here, energy. Touch that. Yeah, we can't I don't know. We won't be able to pull it off. I I would I'll get another ultra ball and we'll get the cape for next turn. And what we'll do is we'll do one one. So we'll ultra ball away the ultra ball and Iono. And there he is, the big heifer. We'll evolve here. And like I say, um, we're gonna get our um, our beaver out. It's in deck, we've seen it when we were going through there. So we'll evolve these two, attach cape, draw five, hopefully get second Matang. Find a metal lab, guys, and start swinging. That sounds good to me. And there's no Dialga out on the move side of the board yet either, which is which is pretty sick. Off my, jinx that, didn't we? Jinx that. But again, yeah, here's a TM Evo. So um, I think what will happen here is she'll evolve into Dialga V-Star or she'll go for two Matangs because she won't like the fact that we beat her to it. Even going first, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Good play, Rufy, good play. If it was me, I'd get the V-Star and go for one tank, but I think she'll probably go for two. If she's got the Dialga V-Star in hand, that is. But she's got the Ultra Ball, so she's got the next turn anyway. It from deck, it's fine. All right, let's go. I'll put cape on, get that cloak on. Draw for top. Attach. Come on. So um haven't actually stated yet, but um we run twelve energy in this deck. Um yeah. Um so obviously the only problem is now is We're gonna damage our Pokemon. Yeah, I'll just hit. When you find Radiant Serena. Um, that's not a bad pickup, mind. Churro. Something. So the idea behind this deck, guys, um, me personally, two or three of these fully set up, get rid of everything else, and then just let them deal with the absolute colossal beast himself. See how long it takes him to knock out. Um, probably going to get, I don't know. I mean, Roof can hit us for 260 here if she wanted to. I mean, it would be horrendous if she ran a lost vacuum. Oh, she's building up the Dialga. Okay. We, we could find boss, that'd be fun. I 
mean, if we don't find anything, guys, to be fair, could always just pick this little guy up. I want a metal lab. I want to find a metal lab as well. Metal lab or boss would be nice. Obviously, then this thing takes 30 less damage again. And I believe that's what? 160, I think, minus 30. Oh, can't we catch her? Oh, our energy acceleration. It's fine. It's fine. Not a bad go. Not a bad go. Thing that we need to be aware of, though, is um. Roof knocks this out now, accelerates hers. <laughs> She's still two two turn KO this. Which isn't the best. We'll see, we'll see how this plans out. We'll see how this plans out. Let's see what we draw. Pick this up. Put this down. Which bound? I'll just here. Draw two. See what we've got in the prizes. We're going to start Kronos next turn. Oh, if I had the choice belt on here, we'd knock it out. Maybe I was wrong to go with Cape. Maybe we should have gone with choice belt. Alright, let's put a dent in it. I guess we'll put a dent in it. Yeah, we're, we're, if she gets two energy out here, guys, I think we've just absolutely been walloped. King of the Metal decks looks like it's the Time Lord still. It's my misplay. I should, I should have, I should have, um, I should have played Choice Belt instead of Hero's Cape because we could have hit it for two ninety, knocked it out. Where are you putting this energy roof? She must have energy in hand because otherwise that was a really bad misplay. Yeah, there we go. Well, we'll just sit back because roof's about to have another turn. I think this is a game. If I'm being perfectly honest. Saying that though, yeah. She needs to get um Nah I mean she's she's hitting for two forty now the way it is minus thirty she's um she's got knockout She's got the knockout already well she's definitely got it now Forty eight, one sixty, two hundred, two forty, two eighty, minus thirty. Yeah, she's got it. She's got it. We knew we knew it was going to be a back to back attack just to knock it out. It's the same as when you um trying to knock out Charizard with a uh, Dialga. To be fair, wow, it's a um, it's a big V star. You know what would be cool? Should we knock it out with the Belden just for the crack? <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, man, we're, we're going to knock that Dialga out with a Beldum. That's just... Do it for the gram. As I say, do it for the gram. Stick that one there. Super or this, this, and this back into the deck. Actually, let's swap that. I know we've got three in deck still. Do that. Oh no. We're going to keep this for there. Not elephant. I'm quite happy about knocking this diography star out. It's like a flying bullet. Bang. Straight through the Time Lord. <laughs> She's going to be fuming we've just done that. Alright, we pulled it back 3-3. Free free. Everything that we've got down to one prizes. Um, we've got Boss, Counter Catcher, Metal Lab, Nespool. We've got the Matang in hand. Obviously, she's got the free retreat with a Mew. I can see this being pushed up. Still needs one energy to attack. But if we can get a Cooperage out, we can deal with this. Oh, what are we getting prime captured? Is she a prime catcher, my elephant, you think? I mean, it would have been nice to have two, obviously. Um, but that's just life, isn't it? That's how it works. Yeah, we're getting um, oh, it's a little happy elephant. See you later, mate. It was nice knowing you. I went behind again. Hmm. You poor little happy thing. See you later, dude. Just jump yourself off to the discard pile. Put the bullet forward again. Put the big man forward. All right. <laughs> Need one of those. Touch here. Um, I'm not sure some sizes for two. <laughs> Do I own a down to two? Yeah, let's do that. If I boss or counter captures anything else, I wouldn't have been doing anything to it and uh, start. What's that? Poke gear. Arvin for next turn. Metal maker. For you, so you can hit that. Uh, Metalmaker again. I mean, we have help roof with the um, with the metal lab, but <sighs> do not boss my elephant up, roof, because I will not be happy. I will not be a happy bunny. How's Ruth use boss? And I'm sure Ross, like, she'll play two boss. <laughs> oh, 
Dumbo. Dumbo, see ya, dude. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, poor Dumbo. I thought we'd had a way back into this, guys. I've been rinsed. We've been rinsed. This, this is just a prime example of literally... Should have put the choice belt on the Cooper Raja instead of the Hero's Cape. And we would have been able to knock it out. I actually think that's game, guys. I do think that's game. That's game. That's game. All right. Dialga's King of Metal. All right, then, guys. Um, carry on with our theme. Um, going in to play with Ancient Box. For our last of the three decks that I've chosen tonight. Um, yeah. Done a Dumbo theme. Not a bad opening hand, to be fair. Um, so Ruth said, I'm going to get a surprise with this. I think she knows I was going to play Ancient Box. If this is Future Box Iron Hands, I'm with Fuming. What is this? I've... Future Box versus Ancient Box. Single prize deck versus Iron Hands. Thanks, Ruth. Great for the stream, this. I'm gonna get absolutely. Do you know what, actually? We might win. You never know. She's gonna give her a cry face. Actually, she's gonna have an angry face. And then I'm gonna give her a sad face. Because she's hurt my feelings playing this. I mentioned the other day I wanted to play Ancient Box on stream and have a little go and see what it's all about. So, of course, when I've played two decks with elephants in, she's going to go, oh, do you know what? I think I'll give this a go, will I? Right, let's see. Um, Uno, Dos, Trez, Greninja. Don't be prized. Right, there we go. Uh, still cards. Oh. Snap! It's working. I feel like Anakin Skywalker there. It's working. It's working. I made a lot of fun out of one of my friends because he milled himself out with this deck. Um. I sincerely hope I do not do the same thing. So we're going for 150 there. That's fine. Hmm. I think that's a good turn one. I think that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, we've got three Roaring Moons out, but... <sighs> what are you getting here, Ruth? I honestly just think this is just future hands. I don't I don't think she's gone for a future box build. We spoke about it the other day, and she didn't like the concept of it. I mean, it's good, but I mean, it's so much easier just playing... Like two energy types, if you're gonna. Well, I mean, you just play Electric Energy in this. A couple of Psychic. Don't really need much more, to be fair. Electric Generators. I mean, Future, Future Box has gotten out, I think, if you could pilot it to every deck. Um, a lot of people are saying about do you play Moth? Do you play Iron Treads? Um, personally, I'd go with a steel option at the minute. I know Moth can accelerate fire energy onto it, and yeah, it hits into steel. But I mean, let's be honest, a lot more people are going to play Chen Pao than they are Dialga, especially EUIC. So, yeah, having that steel um, Pokemon is pretty sick to have. We're going to take the knockout on this, um, on this Maraidon. 
And then obviously Ruth will take two prizes and unintentionally continue to um, power off our Roaring Moons. Speaking of which, let's... Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, I struggle with this. Stay out of the way. Um, I think we take the urban vessel and draw some more cards. Uh, touches here. Um, lost vacuum. Let's get rid of the heavy baton, shall we? Not have that. No. Uh, Greninja. Truck and shoes. No. Um. Yeah. So we'll get the we'll get two darkness because we already have a fighting energy on the uh, Coridon to accelerate that. Um, and then the Greninja can draw us two cards. Um, we know this is getting knocked out, so just swing. We'll take a prize. Festus Arda. What's behind door number two? Uh, vessel. It's all right. I mean, yeah. We do play super odd, so that's also fine. Apologies, I know I'm very much out of tune. Is she just going to stick that there? <coughs> Rude. Um, Dark Sanji. Get rid of the darkness. We need that facade for later. Right, talking about Professor Sada. Let's find one. There we go. Nice. Right. Okay, we'll accelerate to darkness energy. There we go. Seek so Keep count, guys. Keep count. Always know your energy count. Uh, boost the capture one to this one. We have Explorer's Guidance. Pass. So um, I don't actually play boss in this build either. I only play ancient supporters. Same as Great House Milk. The the deck's pretty much a carbon copy. You just swap the Pokemon over. Um, all supporters, tools, pretty much the same. Right, that's Iron Hands fully charged up. Um. I'm going to attach here. Urban vessel, the urban vessel. Take these. Greninja one away so we can solder. Boost the capsule here. We have one darkness engine to discard. That's another attacker set up. We have counter catcher now for when we get iron announced. Um yeah, retreat. Future box, what? I did say the other day, I didn't like Iron Hands. Future box. I like I like Future Box as a concept. I just don't like this Future Hands thing. 
I say this and then, yeah, we've got this. We've got this ancient box beats this all day. I'm gonna take a knockout now, that's fine. Goes to two. We could play drum. Um, so Ruth didn't amp because she didn't have the um, and the firing crowns out. That's why. Um, before anyone thinks, oh, why did she do that? Um, she wouldn't have knocked me out. Um, which is quite good for us, really. So um, we're gonna play drum. Vessel. It's going to poke stop. That's poke stop. Pokeball. Pokeball. Nest ball. Oh my god, it's late. Oh, perfect math. There we go. Thought you had me with your future box, didn't you, Ruth? Nope. Ancient. Ancient box. game guys she just doesn't know it yet however like i did say before though just like great tux mill with ancient box we want to put stuff in this cup make sure you don't deck out guys i needed super odd there oh whiff it's gg's roof ancient box beats future box let's go guys Awesome. All right then, guys. So, yeah, that was our little um, best of three. Uh, three random decks. Ancient Box for me with, um, obviously, use the Cooper Raja deck and Great Tusk Mill. Pretty good games. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, really enjoyed the Mill Chen Pao game. That was pretty sick. And, uh, yeah, just showed off how Iron Hands don't beat Ancient Box. Pretty sick. Um, so yeah, tactics for that one, guys, is just smack the Iron Crowns with the Royal Moons. Hit it for weakness. Yeah, pretty good. Um, Cooper Archery X. I think it was a bad matchup. Bad misplay by me as well with the um, with the choice belt. But yeah, uh, we won 2-1. Won. Happy days. Guys, hope you liked the video. If you do, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one.